Welcome back once again guys to my let's play of Dragon Age 2. When last we left off we'd uh, finished our year's servitude trying to pay off the debt of getting into the city. And now we've met a rather curious dwarf who's uh, promising to take us to the deep roads. So without further ado we're going to have a quick look at the abilities again. Just because uh, I looked at it rather quickly the first time so I want to have a uh, a more in-depth view. I you know it's a standard stats gives you a very adequate description of each it's not the most sophisticated system in the world really um, but really you know it doesn't need to be um, you know overly complex so I'm, I'm not really crit critiquing it much I think it's um, good that they uh, try to keep it simple So at the moment I'm a pyromancer, I'm doing kind of pyromancing stuff, but apparently I can't advance beyond that to level 5, so... Um, I guess slowing enemies would be good, but maybe I want to try something else. Hmm, as long as it's... Hmm. Yeah, it's a bit difficult to know what to pick because there's so many options, you know, it's like, um... What do I pick here? Spirit damage, arcane magic... Mind blast... There are still a lot of great options. So it's a bit difficult to know what to pick at this stage, guys. I guess I'll stick with the elemental tree, perhaps. Maybe get Winter's Grasp now. This guy is my tank, I guess. Tanking character. So I'll keep him up with the tanking stuff. What's this? Stone wall. Uh, damage resistance 50%. Defense 10. So. What's this? Mm -hmm. So we'll go with that. And our. Uh, Dwarf is apparently a rogue. That's very surprising. A dwarf rogue, eh? I mean, that's not the not the usual, is it? So, as usual with a rogue, you want lots of dexterity, lots of cunning, and a bit of health to keep him alive. What should he specialize in? Seems to be ranged. Yeah. I don't want a ranged rogue, really. Specialist. That sounds quite cool. Sabotage. So I think I'm gonna go for a specialist since uh, I like the kind of the rogues kind of rushing in with great speed and just killing everybody and that's what he's got already it seems so uh, precision give him some precision so he won't miss so much okay so we need to get over here now welcome to the high town market I do like the indicators, they're really clear of where you gotta go and where you can get potential quests. That's always a always a plus in my book. Um by the way, if you're interested, my kind of verdict on Dragon Age that it is probably just about worth the asking price of uh, what is it, forty nine ninety five? Just about scrapes there, you know. I would say if you're not a fan of um eerie how much resemblance there is between you two and there's We're brothers. What's eerie about random that? dialogue 
So yeah, um, you know, if you like Dragon Age, then you like this. Um, you know, a lot of reviewers say that if you like Dragon Age, you like this. But you know, if you if you're a fan of Dragon Age, you'll pay full price, pretty much. Um, if you're watching this now, you're probably not a big Dragon Age fan. So I would say wait until it's cheaper, because if it's not already by the time you watch this, because if you're not a big Dragon Age fan, uh, and if you're too much of a Dragon Age fan, you might be disappointed with this game. But I am... Um, it's a good game. I'll give it that. It's a good game. It's not an exceptional game, like, and it's not as good as game as uh, Dragon Age Original Origins. But, you know, there, there's my two cents anyway. So it is worth full price if you're really into Dragon Age. If not, then it's not worth full price. Just wait until it's down to about 40, 35. I wouldn't pay more than that if I were you. Anyway, let's talk to this fella. Ah, long time no see, my friend. Well, if it isn't worthy, the dwarf with the incredibly ironic name. <laughs> I only advertise the truth. You aren't still working for Athenal, are you? Your year must be up by now. I'm looking to become an explorer. Of a sort. I heard. Bartran's hard to take, but his information is usually good. Hard to take? <laughs> That's putting it mildly. I'll tell you what. I still have my old contacts. You need some runecrafting done, I can arrange it for you. Take care, Hawk. Don't get dead. <laughs> Don't get dead, yeah. English. Let's have a look at these. Rune of protection, eh? It requires one lyrium, which we don't have right now. So, where's the next one? We'll try up here. Uh, can we get around there? Mm. No. It's <laughs> gonna pick up another quest. I saw beggars this morning. So after some money at the moment. Sebastian, stop this madness. The Chantry cannot condone revenge, Sebastian. It is my right, my duty, to show these assassins there is nowhere in the free marches to hide. Mm -hmm. This is murder. Murder. No. What happened to my family was murder. This is justice. Apparently. Good day to you, sir. So, let's go see what uh, the guy's talking about. A grave crime was committed against all three thinking men and women of the Free Marchers. The ruling Vale family of st in Starkhaven, my family, was brutally murdered. Down to the youngest babe in arms. This massacre was carried out by the members of the Flint Mercenary Company. I hereby offer a bounty on the head of each fleet Flint Company soldier in Kirkwall vicinity. Well, I think we're up for that. For a bit of bounty hunting. Certainly, uh, we're up for killing Bobby Killers. Got no qualms against killing now. Even though I'm not really playing a good guy playthrough, but still. He has some scruples. Hmm. So it seems like we need to get over here to the plot point. Avoid with this. I can never what Mistress wants. I like the way they call it plot point. It's like uh Nice immersion guys, call it plot point. You know, usually it's like a uh, quest or um, uh, go here to. But no, on this map it's plot point. Just right up here. I 
Good old Viscount Way. I hope it doesn't rain. Here, Chica. Did you hear what Lord Barry said? It's pointless to talk. So let's go in. Let's see what Viscount keeps all about. Good luck getting in. I've been waiting all day. Hello, Aveline. Aveline. Hello, Hawk. That's it. What? Oh, right. Sorry. It feels like we just talked. I've been keeping an eye on you. Information is one of the few perks of this job. Watch out for Bartrand. He's a son of a bitch. Hmm. A person in your position seems like they might learn some profitable things. You know better than to ask that. <laughs> one day you'll be frustrated enough to go for it. It's like I'm sitting on my hands. There are dangerous people in this city. In fact, I might have a job for you. Let me know if you want to do a favor for Kirkwall. Otherwise... I'm here if you need me. Make a nose, I could use more satisfying work. Let's check out what she's got for us. All right, Aveline. You have something worth doing. My patrols may be empty walks in the dark, <coughs> but there's something big coming up, and I could use you. An ambush, probably for a caravan, although I can't find any shipments that match up. Doesn't matter, though. High women waiting for someone to rob. I'm putting a stop to it, my district or not. <laughs> yeah, I think we're up for that. All right, Aveline. I'll play guard for you. I knew I could count on you. They're hidden up Sundermount, remote and rough, but we can make good time with a shortcut this side. And no, you can't run off and do it without me. I trust you, but I have to be there. You're acting on behalf of the guard. Okay, so we've got several quests to manage here. And uh, we seem to be leaving the city. How much longer do I have to wait? <laughs> Good day, What's sir. this? Gather your party. Oh, so this is where we can do a selection. At the moment, that's all I got, so... So I'm going to leave it off here guys, um, we're out of time, I try to like to keep it to about 10-15 minutes, let's just have a look, quick look at her, her abilities, um, let's have a look and see what her, yeah, what her abilities are first before, okay, it seems she's a weapon and shield kind of girl, uh, shield defense, perception, shield bash, what's that like? Give us some strength, some constitution, some dex. So yeah, like I said before guys, um, if you're a fan of this game, then you will have already picked it up probably. If not, then you you, you should go pick it up. Um, it's good enough for that. Really nice graphics, really beautiful graphics. Um, you know, quite a large step up over the original. So that's good, I applaud that. Um, yeah, not much more to say about it than it's already been said, guys. Um, I want to get into more combat in the next episode, so we'll, we'll probably be going outside Kirkwall, fighting mobs and stuff, and uh, I want to see uh, more in depth what the combat's like, and, uh, you know, see, see a bit more of uh, the action. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. So thanks for joining me once again, guys, and see you next time.